Hi everyone, Aiden here, the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Flint Hill Goods compact cargo carrier on our 2021 Nissan Rogue. Now a hitch mounted cargo carrier is a great way to carry some extra stuff with you, whether you're going on a road trip and you need somewhere to put everyone's luggage because there's not enough room inside, or you're just taking a quick trip to the hardware store and you've got some stuff that you never want to put in the vehicle to begin with. Things that tend to rip and make a mess like bags of mulch, soil, or concrete. You can put them out here and just hose this off whenever you're done. Now this particular one is going to be a steel carrier, which means it is going to be a bit more of a durable material, maybe a little bit more susceptible to rust and corrosion over time, but it will be strong, capable of carrying up to 500 pounds. You do want to keep in mind that even though the carrier is rated for that, your Nissan Rogue and the hitch attached to it may not necessarily. So check those weight capacities and go by the lowest rated component. But as far as the carrier goes, it's going to be really strong. All of the bars here will be great for tie down points. Nothing I don't think will bend or twist over time. And the big benefit of this being so compact is actually keeping the weight down because steel carriers tend to be really heavy, especially as you get into the larger sizes, making them hard to manage, getting in and out of the hitch, but also storing in your garage. This one is very easy to work with, a weight very similar to a lot of the aluminum car cargo carriers we carry. So if you want a steel option, this is a good alternative. Plus, it doesn't add too much distance to the back of your vehicle, like we'll check out later. One thing I do want to point out, though, is your usable space. Because even though it's compact, we want to know how much stuff we can actually fit inside it. So for interior dimensions, front to back, we're going to be working with 17 and 3 quarters of an inch. So it is a bit more short on the depth. And side to side, we can see we're going to be working with 51 and a half inches, which that's actually pretty good. I think with this, as long as you store things side to side, you should be able to get a good amount of stuff in here. With all that in mind, you probably want to see how tall we can stack things up because the more compact size, if we do try to load it up fuller, means that we'll have to stack things on top of each other. With that, you're going to run into things like blocking your license plate, your backup camera, or just limiting the ability to open up our back hatch, which we can see right here makes contact just above the 18 and a half inch mark. So if we stack our things 18 and a half inches or lower, we won't come into contact with the back hatch. We can still use that cargo area on the vehicle. And in addition to that, it's not going to block the license plate or the backup camera, which is great. With that, we also want to keep in mind the ground clearance. As we stack things up and load the carrier down, it will reduce the ground clearance. So right now on an empty load, it's 10 inches of clearance, which is pretty low. But as I stand in here to just demonstrate some weight, you'll see that back end drop down, which will reduce your clearance. Just something to keep in mind as we're driving around with this. And with the very close compact nature of it, it won't add as much distance to the back of your vehicle, only sticking out 21 inches. With this being a fixed carrier, we don't get the ability to fold it up to save space when we're not using it. So it's going to be taking up space when it's in the hitch, but 21 inches isn't too bad. It does sit pretty close to the vehicle though, at the closest point being about two, two and a half inches from the bumper here. But the anti-rattle bolt does a pretty fair job at keeping things solid. So I'm not worried about vehicle contact. That really just translates to being really hard to reach to get the anti-rattle bolt tightened. You can see my arm is kind of getting stuck in here. So trying to reach in and tighten that will be a bit of a task. But aside from that, once it's in, it's in and you don't have to worry about it. I will say on the driver's side, this is going to sit pretty close to the exhaust pipe. So any sort of heat sensitive cargo I would keep that to the passenger side of the carrier because even though the exhaust is angled down a little bit, we've seen a lot of coolers melt going down the road, sitting too close to the exhaust. And that's really all there is to it. I think where this carrier really excels is being small and lightweight. Despite the steel construction, it's easy to manage. And if you don't need a giant carrier for a ton of luggage, you just need something for simple tasks around the house, trips to the hardware store, and the occasional buying something off Facebook Marketplace and just needing extra space, this will work great. It's there when you need it, and it doesn't take up too much space. If you need extra space and a bigger carrier, we've definitely got those options here. You can check them out by checking out all of our product pages. 
But this has just been our look at the compact cargo carrier on our 2021 Nissan Rogue. Thanks for watching.